tennis while we do our exercises we want to have good posture so what does that mean well if you look at most people you'll see the shoulders caved in body sort of down okay and that's sort of from texting a lot being on computers and modern activities you know throughout the day um, or just gravity right but we gotta be able to keep our chest up, our shoulders back and down. So we feel like the pinching. We wanna feel the pinching in the back muscles. Do you feel pinching? And down. So our shoulders go back and down. I want, I want my shoulder blades to I want my shoulder blades to come back onto the rib cage. Okay? Don't want them off. Don't want them off like this. Want them on. Keep the head up. Chin up. Does it feel funny? Yeah. Might feel, you might feel a little funny at first. But you practice this so that it becomes just sort of a natural way to keep your body. Um, and you want to maintain this good posture throughout the exercises and the stretches. Mm -hmm. And sort of try and let your shoulders now go down, push them down. So your back and down. There you go. Okay, this is one of my students, Jay. He will be helping me demonstrate the exercises. So we got a finer squat position. So we're going to come about shoulder width with our feet. And our toes angle out a little bit the sides so we don't want our toes in like that we'll angle out the toes to the side a bit and we're going to drop back on our heels go down like you're sitting in a chair keep the knees over the toes don't let them go outside good and we're going to jump up and feet together jump down sit down jump up good good keep the back straight Back, stay straight, weight on the heels and not too wide. Exactly. And jump back up. Good. Yep. First thing we want to do is to find our lunge. Make sure that knees are 90 degrees. Now we don't have our knee crossing our toe like this. Keep your knee behind your toe 90 degrees. Now power part is going to be to jump and switch like that. Exactly. Exactly. And try to keep your back straight. Yeah, it's not easy. Good. Take one foot up, drop down, push up. Remember, don't let this knee pass your toe. Keep it behind your toe. Drop it down. Yep. Don't let the knee pass your toe. Keep your back very straight. Yep. Go down. And you want to go as, as low as you can go. Push back up. We find a chair or a flat surface, get into that squat position, and you're gonna go back until you touch the chair and, or the surface and come up. Hands out for balance and back. Good, do it. Stay on the heels. Don't let the knees, keep going, go ahead. Don't let the knees pass the toe, yeah. Trick here because you can put more weight in your heels. Go again. Yeah, there, that's a squat. Feel that? Yeah. Do it again. 
There we go. Good. Yep. Balance the whole time. And jump up. Back stays very straight as you jump. Jump as high as you can. And after 15. So plank will be with our hands under our shoulders. Yep. Back stays straight. Good. Body off the ground. Or you can do it on your forearms. Like this, same thing. The body off the ground. So in this position, we're gonna pump our knee up, step up, switch the legs at the same time. And try to keep your back straight. Knees pump straight in, so not too much to the side. Yes. Now moving plank. One step to the side. And back. Two steps to the side. And back. Move in that plank position. But keep your shoulders, your hands under your shoulders. And back. And back straight. You see how you're kind of yeah. poking your butt up? Keep it straight. Okay. Burpees. Go down. Jump the feet back. Jump the feet in. Jump up. That's one. Down. Feet back. Feet in. Jump up. Put your hands. Next to your waist, fingers, fingers in, in front of the surface. Don't put the fingers behind the edge. Put the fingers in front like this. Legs straight, dip down to 90 degrees and up. Keep more weight on your palms. Yes. Don't let your hand slide off. Keep the hand on. Drop down. Good. Now contact point against the wall. So you can find any wall where the ball can be placed up against it and the racket pressing against the ball which is on the wall. Okay? And we're just looking to Hold the right contact point. So leverage with the hand and the racket straight together at contact point. And we're just looking to hold it right here. With if you have semi-western grip, you're gonna hold with a double bend. If you have an eastern grip, you're gonna be more extended. Okay? So we're just looking to hold this to build our strength and our grip. Bend the legs a little bit, strengthen the legs, and you can you can stand in more of a neutral stance to get your weight behind it. But back up the feet a little bit. Good. Because now you're more in front. And this is a little bit low. Yeah. So we want to pull it up a little bit. Get it more in between. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Hold the ball against the wall. See the ball, we don't want it to fall, right? Yeah. So we want to keep a tight pressure against the wall. You know, I made it look a little bit easier, but actually this is a hard exercise for younger kids to build the strength. Yeah. yeah, see? And he's an advanced player, and it's sort of tiring for him too, so you're going to hold it and build the strength there. Where do you feel the, the tiredness? Here. In the hand, right? Yeah, my arm's okay. Arm's okay? It's all in the hand. Yep. Some will feel in the arm, some will feel in the hand. A little bit right here, but mainly right And there. maybe the forearm a little bit, right? Yeah. So, especially for two hand, it might not feel too tough to hold it in two hand back hand because you have, you have 
uh, two hands on the racket, but the orientation and the feeling of the right contact point is what we want to reinforce as well. Okay, what we can also do for me and for other one handed backhand players, this is the toughest one. Do one hand single hand backhand. You want the left hand away. You want the, the big L shape, big L. And obviously in front of our body to have that straight arm it must be in front of the body like that. Mm -hmm. And this is what the one hand backhand players would do. Single handed backhand players. So you try that. Hold the eastern backhand grip right on top. That to the middle. Eastern backhand grip. Hold it there. See if you can demonstrate this. One hand backhand. See how long you can hold it. Okay. Yeah. This. Uh huh. Hold it there against the wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, already, you see, he could feel the difference in difficulty because he's only used to hitting two hands, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Hold it there. Okay, yeah, I feel it. Okay, so this one will really test the strength in the shoulder because that's the toughest part for young kids to get a single hand backhand having the shoulder strength and this will really help that for single hand backhand. You can see it's sort of fading down, right? Yeah, you gotta keep it up. Hold it up with the shoulder strength. Yeah. Go below the knee and up and try to catch it back. Have complete control of the toss. Come right back to your hand. Okay, so I've sped up the a video portion of this. I'm just going to talk about it here. Um, so with the, when you're going through these stretches, it's very important to hold them for 15 seconds each. I didn't really hold them that long in the video because it was going to turn out to be too long, and it already did, so that's why I had to speed it up. Um, but as you can see, it's really important to pull your muscles, like in that quads, quadriceps stretch you just saw. Like you got to pull quite tight so that you feel tension on your legs. And this stretch right here, you see, when you get your legs straight, you be sure to reach down to your to your feet and sort of pull and you got to make sure your legs are straight okay and here you really make sure you drop your your hips down lean lean into the stretch really sit down okay you got to hold these for 10 15 uh, 20 seconds you know each one of these you know and you see this one really drop the hips really pull tight hug the knee tight it's gonna be tough to keep your balance Okay, legs straight. You keep those legs straight even if you cannot touch your feet. It's important because that means you're going to do it properly. If you bend your legs, bend your knees just to try and touch your feet, you're going to miss out on the improvement. As you can see, I'm demonstrating keeping those legs straight. Okay, we come to the ground. Okay, opening our hips, some hip stretches. You can use your arms to kind of press your hips down. You can see that, you know, even mine, and especially Jay's, his legs don't really sit down too easily, right? Too naturally. Um, that's because, especially for guys, our hips get too tight, so we gotta do those stretches properly. Okay, you can come up here and do some forearm stretches, where you just kind of stretch the hand back, so you feel that stretch of the forearms. Okay, there you go. That's it. Thanks for watching.